friendos and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha. I eat things, I go places, and I do stuff, and today we're gonna eat things. I got another Tokyo trade box in the mail. This is the June box. I think everything is catching up in the shipping world, and this has been a wonderful surprise for me, considering I don't really like quarantine. Quarantine has been not very exciting for me. If you know me in real life, you know that I am extremely extroverted, and I have just had my cats and my husband and my dog to talk to, and they are sick of me. <laughs> I need other people to talk to. If I can't put other people in my life. I can put food in my mouth. Yep, we're gonna go with that. And so these Tokyo tree boxes are pleasant surprises, especially since they've been shipping on time. I did get my mug. I'll have to film it downstairs in a second. It's super cute. I got the Dorama mug. Yeah, it's precious and pink and perfect, but that is besides the point. It is snack time. Again, I'm not gonna try all of these. If this is the June box, I will try the snack that Jelly specifically wants me to try but I've seen everything inside of it already, so I'm excited. She just got a box as well, so I wonder if she got her May box, and so I'm very excited to see how that works out for her, because those snacks were delicious. I literally just have two Kit Kats left from that whole box, so the timing couldn't have been more wonderful for this box. Let's break it open. Woo! It is full to the brim, like, always. I appreciate their very strategic packing. It is the birthday box, but it's very cute. Very interesting information about um, birthdays in Japan. <gasps> That's an Isabel plush. I need it. Anyway, besides the point, very cute artwork. I love it. Let us see. The first thing I see here is some premium caramel popcorn. I ate that entire bag of lettuce butter, <laughs> lettuce fiber, soy sauce butter popcorn um, in one sitting last time, so that was very exciting. Um, I'm very excited. I love caramel popcorn. I love caramel. Caramel. I love popcorn. Popcorn's my favorite snack. I haven't bought it in a while. I'm going to put it on my grocery list. The next thing in here is a grape Fanta. I've been studying my Japanese. My Katakana isn't great still. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's super cute. And like, it looks more like juice than a soda. I don't know if you can like really tell. Um, either that or it's flat as heck. One of the two. Who knows? Still gonna be delicious. This is a ridiculously sized bag of candy. I am very excited to eat it. I think I will eat one. These are, well, the Black Thunder Party Pack. Black Thunder is a perfectly chocolatey cookie with crunch. I read those words out of order. It wasn't English. English. Individually wrapped treats are wonderful for me because I am trying to bulk, to bulk up, trying to get real buff and fit, and diet is like 70% of that, which I freaking hate because I would love to just be able to eat what I normally eat, but I'm trying to eat what I normally eat in smaller portions. So here we are. I know last video that went up is Google Clusters and so I'm just eating more candy. You're welcome. Mmm. That is amazing. I didn't expect it to be chocolate on the inside. What a good time. Mmm, I want to eat seven of those. That's dangerous because the soccer Kit Kats at least were like, oh, these are sophisticated. I should save them and only have one at a time and save for them because they are rare. And I'm like, that tastes like chocolate. And I want to eat a million of them. So I'm gonna have to exercise more self-control. Wee, little grape, little grape gums. I think they're the cutest. I love them. What else? Another little jelly. I had one of these. I had the apple one not too long ago. They're just such a fun little textural treat of joy. What else we got? Um, is this an okonomiyaki? This is an okonomiyaki package. Cracker puff thingy my doodle. Very cute. We have a contender for cute packaging right here. 
I love him. Oh, there's also a cat. It says, Neko. Does this say, I can feed this to my cat? That can't be right. For safety's sake, we're not gonna feed this to the cat. But it does say, Neko something, demo okay. So, I don't know. Don't feed the things to your cats that you're not sure about. It's important that you don't do that. <laughs> it looks like we got the Sakura Chiffon Cake Oreos. These are gonna be another very hard thing to resist, but they're sophisticated, so I will not. They're also Oreo thin, so is that like even a real thing? Like if it's not a real Oreo? This cake picture though, like I just wanna eat this cake all the time. I've been craving pastries and I don't know why. Oh man, guess what I got? Long, long man. I'm very excited. I have seen the commercials for these as I imagine you have as well. These are super fun. I've never bought them in a store because maybe I didn't need this much snack. But it is in fact 50 centimeters of goodness. Looks like we got an orange flavor. It's Mikan, which is a type of orange that is local to Ehime, I think. Uh, but anyway, it's like a more orangey orange, if you can imagine that. Like imagine the orange peel oils flavored the inside, but it was still sweet. More potent orange, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Little cheese simbe crackers, yum. Also got some corn puffs, Tomo. Yep, kanji man gets you every time. Cute. Those are gonna be a good crunch. A corn puff tage snake. Yum, it's like a porridge. And they're puffs. See them, they puffs. They're very cute. Much excite. And then it looks like I've got a series of teeny tiny snacks. <gasps> I think this is the one. No, this can't be it. It's a tea cookie. A little tea cookie. Black tea flavored. You can see the little tea leaves in it, I hope. Very excite. Looks like another little soda candy. He might be chewy. He might be gum. Excite. Let's see. Ikra. No, Ika. This is Eco Remen. This is what you wanted me to try, Jelly. This is it, it's time. Uh, Eco Squid. I don't know why we combine these two flavors, but I'm here for it. I hope. Mine unfortunately got heckin' destroyed, but this is the, the textural situation we're working with. Very delish. know it tastes like you went to a seafood dinner crunchy style I'm not sure I would reach for these but like it's kind of addicting like that little bit of sour like a lot of bit of sour it's kind of nice and they taste like squid frankly uh yeah I expected these to be a lot worse all right this is a pudding, pudding candy. He's soft like mochi, like a marshmallow. Very cute. Completo! Oh no, these are the fake M&Ms. I think these are literally just two M&Ms in a package. <laughs> um, chibi Mari. Nope, Maru, Chibi, Chibi Maru. I, when the English is right underneath it. <laughs> Anyway, they're a little cute. Little cute babies. And then, I think last but not least, there's like a little dice marshmallow boy. He's very cute. I feel like I should try one more thing in here. We'll try the Oreos. <gasps> because they look amazing. Eh, eh, eh. <gasps> nice individually wrapped. I can appreciate that. Freshness is super important. A lot of 
Japanese people, and I think this might be true in most Asian, well, no, a lot of Japanese people live alone. Um, or with their families, and so like their snacks don't need to be big. They don't need to like have an entire box of Oreos, so it's nice to be able to like slowly savor these Oreos and not have them go stale. And let me clarify, a lot of Japanese people in the city live alone, it's different. My Oreo did get a little crunched, crushled. Devastation, but um, I bet he tastes the same. Like, where is the cream? Playing games with me, Oreo. Oh no, that is delightful. It is very elegant. Because the Oreo is so thin, it's like a cracker almost. It's still slightly sweetened. And the inside is like cream, duh. But like, how do I explain this? It's just real nice. It's like, you get the salty hint of the sakura. It doesn't taste like strawberry at all, so don't get that into your head before you try it. It's like um, a whipped cream. It's just very strong. It's a very strong sakura taste with like a nice cream on a thin, crispy chocolate cracker. So I'm gonna excuse myself to finish the rest of these cookies in a responsible manner. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see me open more Tokyo Treat Boxes, let me know. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It'd be really cool of you. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.